For those of you who watched my parachuting Goomba tutorial, this might look familiar to you. As I scroll down, our Goomba reverse parallaxes down the screen, and he eventually ends up in a big green pipe. Now, this is pretty cool, but we haven't really talked about what if you don't want the user to have to scroll, or what if there are specific points on the screen that you'd like the user to not accidentally scroll past. And that could be accomplished very, very easily in Adobe Muse by hyperlinking to anchors. If you've never worked with anchors before, there are points on a page that you can hyperlink to. And with Adobe Muse, at least Adobe Muse CC, the latest version, if you hyperlink to an anchor, it will apply a JavaScript smooth scroll that looks really, really nice with this parallax effect. So in my example here, which we're going to build together, I've got this blue arrow, and when I click on it, automatically scrolls to the next anchor. I click again on the next blue arrow, and he scrolls into the pipe. How nice is that? A couple of clicks, you've gone through the animation. It's very, very engaging, and you can still scroll up and down manually if you want to. But this is a great effect, and it's so easy, it's just stupid. So let me close this, and let's go back into our Goomba parachuting example file here. Uh, and you guys can do this with anything. If you didn't recreate the Goomba parachuting, you are at no disadvantage whatsoever. But what I need to do is I need to create my anchors, and then I need to create, well, in my case, little blue arrows that are going to hyperlink to my anchors. So let me start by making the anchors. I've got to figure out, I've got to decide for myself where I want the scrolling to pause. I definitely want one at the bottom. In fact, we can make that right now. I can click this little anchor button on my toolbar. I can click down here at the bottom, and I'm going to name it the bottom. Great. And then I'm going to go up toward the middle where these balloons are. And I'm going to make another anchor, and I'm going to call it, you guessed it, the middle. Great, so now I've got the middle, I've got the bottom. I might end up moving these around to tweak it a little bit, uh, but let's see what this looks like when I add my hyperlink. So I would like to do this with my little blue arrow, so I'm going to go into the finder and I'm going to grab it and drop it right in there. It's a little big, so I'm going to make it small. I'm going to try to find my center point. I get a red line when I'm at the center point. And now I'm going to go up to the hyperlink, and I'm going to say to the middle, not to the bottom first. We're going to go to the middle first. Then I'm going to option drag this guy to make another one. I'm going to put it just below my anchor here. And I'm going to hyperlink this one to the bottom. Now I'm going to do my shift command E shortcut to get a preview and let's see where we're at. So I've got my blue arrow. I'm getting the finger here, <laughs> which is actually a good thing in this case. And I'm going to click on that blue arrow, and bada boom, there we go. It didn't stop where the balloons are. So if I do want it to stop with the balloons on the screen, then I'm going to want to reconsider my anchor position. I might want to move it up, say, a uh, couple hundred pixels here. Let me close this out. And I'm going to grab the arrow and the anchor, because they're partners in crime. I want them to stay in the same position relative to one another. Let's move that up about that much and look again. Shift Command E, click on the arrow. There we go, much better. Now we got the Goomba and the balloons at the same time. And I can click again, and it goes to the bottom, lands in his little pipe. How easy was that? You just need an object or a piece of text that you can hyperlink to an anchor, position that anchor, reposition that anchor until you find the sweet spot, and you're done. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Please subscribe if you enjoy these. I've got more coming.